And in today's video, we're gonna look at gate slash expander plugin that ships with Pro Tools. You might have some bleed from other instruments. You don't necessarily want that. Some people really don't care and add it all in the mix, and some use gates to kind of isolate each individual element. So over here, I have a snare. So let's say you wanted to remove some of that bleed. So the plugin's on its default setting, thresholds all the way down. It's not doing anything. The minute I stop it, you see the gain reduction? It's completely stopping any sound from coming in. The thing is the threshold is all the way down. So the minute I press play, it opens up. As you can hear, it's turning the sound on and off. So it sounds a bit weird when it's by itself. But when you put it all together, it actually makes a lot of sense. Now you can use this on vocals and just about anything. And you could actually use this to come up with some really cool effects. So we do have a lot of options here. Now in this video, we're not gonna dive in into each individual option and tell you how they function or anything like that. We can mess with the release, the ratio, and get things to sound exactly how we want. So we can make this a lot more tighter. We can make the gate close a lot quicker, a lot slower. There's just a lot we can do. We have to look ahead function, some high pass filters, low pass filter. It's amazing what this plugin offers. If you spend a lot of time tweaking, you will get that effect that you're looking for. It's just understanding what each individual option, the hold, attack, range, ratio, release, and threshold. Once you understand what those options can do, this plugin opens up and it becomes really powerful. So let's say you've been sitting in front of this plugin for a couple of hours, tweaking, trying to modify, and you're not getting that desired effect. That happens. And some might tell you that is why you possibly need two or three plugins. And they're right. In case one doesn't work, you try the other. But when I'm creating these videos, I'm assuming that you only have the stock plugin. Now, the first option, it's time consuming. You can sit down and edit the whole entire track manually. Second thing you can do, you can use the key input and use another sound to trigger the gate. The threshold is all the way to the left. It's actually working a lot better by using the key input. It's not perfect. So that's something you can do really quick. So just because you see a great deal on a plugin doesn't mean you have to get it. And if you do purchase it, thinking that it's gonna be better than this one, it might actually be better. But if you're not familiar with how these tools work, then it makes no sense. 